In this video, we're going to cure writer's block instantly, once and for all, forever. If you ever experience it again, just come back here and watch the video again, because this is the cure, no matter what you're trying to write. You can cure writer's block with one simple sentence, and that is, give yourself permission to write garbage. Now, the truth is, what you write probably won't be garbage, but by giving yourself permission, you remove the block. Here's why. Let's think about what writer's block actually is. As the name implies, something is blocking your creative flow. Well, as it turns out, that something is the need for perfection. The need to be good, or to write well, or to choose the right idea, or story, or even words. Basically, it's the need to avoid looking stupid. <laughs> so, to remove the block, simply remove that need for perfection. Here's how. First, open your file, or whatever you're going to write in. Think about what you wish you could write if you weren't blocked. Set a timer for three minutes. Give yourself permission to write garbage, and then go. Write as much as you can in three minutes. Now, if the words still don't flow instantly, go one step further and make yourself deliberately write garbage. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Congratulations, you're writing again. You've removed the block. Now, the skeptic in you probably says, but I don't want to write garbage. I want to write quality. And as you start writing, you might even hear a little voice inside your head that says, this is awful. That sentence is terrible. Why did you choose that idea? You're no good at this. Stop now. You're going to look foolish. That voice is the block. That voice is what I call the critic voice. And the fact of the matter is you need that voice. It actually has your best interests at heart. See, that voice is the last line of defense against looking foolish. It doesn't want you to be judged poorly by putting garbage out into the world. The problem is it's interrupting. It's jumping in before its turn. It's trying to criticize something that doesn't even exist yet. And that doesn't protect you. That blocks you. See, writing is a process, and getting your idea on the page is only one tiny little part of that whole process. In fact, the whole process has four parts. First, you give shape to your idea by turning it into a story or mapping out what you want to say. Second, you get it onto the page. Third, you make sure those words express your idea effectively. And then finally, you fine-tune the reader experience. Writer's block happens when you blend the parts. So, how do you silence your inner critic? Here's how. You make a deal with it. Tell it you'll give it a chance to voice any criticism it has later, before you show it to anyone. See, once it knows you're not being reckless, it will go quiet and let your creativity flow. But you must give it its chance to be critical afterwards. Because if you send sloppy first draft writing out into the world, that critic voice is not going to trust you in the future and the block will return. So give yourself permission to write garbage and then strengthen what you've written afterwards. That's how to cure writer's block instantly, every time. Try it now and let your ideas flow. In the next video in this series, I'll show you how to use the four-part process to write fast. By giving shape to your ideas before you start writing, you can work with your critic to write better and faster. Until then, please share this video with anyone who might have writer's block. Click the like button, subscribe to this channel, and always, always enjoy the process.